Bivouacking gives you another dimension altogether. It becomes a quest, it becomes an epic adventure. And as such, it's really burned into your memory. I found that the days that I've had out here have been so rich that I'll never forget any of them. And the flights themselves have not been very big, in fact, they've been pretty small. Uh, you know, in terms of distance flown, tiny little flights. But the feeling on those flights, what really mattered was the hope of getting away. The feeling that I was escaping from some mountain that I'd walked up for a day and I'd really earned that flight. And then I got a thermal and got up and set off. And that feeling of breaking free and going somewhere new, that to me is the real joy of cross country flying. So the distance, not that important. I started off and I was all, you know, oh, oh, I'll test myself against the boys, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, let's see how far I can walk. And, uh, you know, on day three I realized it really doesn't matter. I really don't care how far I go, how far I fly. What really matters is that feeling of freedom, that feeling you get hoping that you're going to fly as you're walking up some mountain hoping you're going to find some takeoff site. You've never been there before, but you think maybe there'll be something there to launch and then you find it. And it's great. And there's a windsock. And you launch and you get a thermal and you get up. Man, that feeling of liberation is just something spectacular. And then you fly away. You don't know where you're going. It doesn't matter. You're not following any roads or routes or needing to get back for transport, you're just flying and that freedom is so sweet. And then you land. Okay, <laughs> it's disappointing when you land only like 10 k's away from where you've launched from. But only if you're counting it in some league or you're competing against your mates. But you're so low busy. And that's the beauty of it. There's absolutely no way you can compete with this. You're on your own. You're having an adventure. It's awesome, no matter what you do. <laughs> awesome! Got away from Verbia. Woohoo! Into the main valley. Well, that was a happy little tour.
tons of tons of adventures yet to come. We'll go and check out the train timetable and see about getting to Munich. Your first five years of flight, you want to have solid cross-country experience first. Make sure you know how to analyze what's going on in the air and what's going on ahead on a cross-country before you do a bird. I know there's a lot of pilots that have been flying for years and you kind of like, you know, you used to have a spark. Now it just kind of faded a bit. You're like, yeah, you know, you'll fly if it's a good day, but with that fire come out and do a bivy you'll get that fire back guaranteed you're totally self-reliant your wing is your transport and it just puts you in touch with the real essence of flying like nothing else 